Callouts in ScreenFlow are a really nice way to highlight a specific part of the screen. Now, previously we've shown how to do that with the video, just zooming in on areas that you'd like to uh, enhance. But maybe in this case, I want to zoom in specifically on this part of the page. Uh, and I want to just, I don't want to zoom the whole page. I just want to move this part bigger. So how do I do that? So I do that with a callout. And so I want to kind of find the spot where I open this up, right? So. I opened it up actually quite a ways. So it's right around there. I'm gonna add an action. And so now we're doing a call out. And so I get this little segment here, kind of like all the other actions that I do. And so by default, it does mouse cursor. And so when you do this, it's going to follow the mouse, uh, which I don't actually move there. So let me move the call out later. And if I play it back, you'll see it follows the mouse and I'm actually zooming the mouse. So let me get that back to 100% so it looks more normal, <laughs> but there we go. So now it's following the mouse around the screen. Um, if I, uh, let's see, reduce the opacity, uh, which ironically reduces, increases the visibility of the background, um, I can kind of see that a little better. Uh, but basically it's highlighting where the mouse is. I don't use that a ton. Um, what I actually like to do is freehand. And so it's gonna default to a circle, but I will switch it to a square. And so let me go back to that spot where I was at, where I actually wanted this to happen. Uh, so it was right here. So again, I'm gonna start it there. I'm gonna draw a box around this to-do item list. So there we go. I drew the box and all that's done is it's kind of highlighted it. Uh, if I uh, exit out of here, I can play this back and you'll see it kind of snap into place right there. And then once it's done, it'll snap off. So. It, it does highlight it, but it's not quite what I'm looking for. I should also make sure I go all the way to the end of that. There we go. So it's the whole duration that is on screen, but I want to do it a little cleaner. So how do I do that? So I want it to bounce or enhance a little bit more. So let me zoom out or zoom up, I should say. There we go. So now it's actually bigger than everything. Uh, so then if I play it back, it's going to kind of pop. Let's get rid of that pop though. So we wanna use this build. So we have an in duration and out duration. So I like to set this up to one second, both in and out. And so now when that happens, I'm gonna play it back and then it's going to nicely kind of grow in. And actually I could argue that's actually a little slow. Let's drop it down to half a second. How does this look? Let's go back. I think that's pretty good. So now we're focused on that. And then I'm going to eventually type in here, just the word done. Nope, I did it before that. <laughs> so the one second was actually too long. Uh, so I'm actually going to make this, uh, let's do a third of a second basically. And so if I play it back, yeah, you know, it's, it's good enough, <laughs> but that really does a good job. I think of showing you how you can kind of enhance a little bit of it. The rest of the screen stays where it is. Maybe you don't want to show the dock. Maybe you don't want to show whatever else on your screen. You just want to enhance that one thing. You can do that. Uh, you can additionally, um, let's see, you can add a shadow. So that's kind of a harsh shadow. Uh, you can soften it. You can feather the sides of it. So it's actually a little uh, soft on the edge. Uh, so when it comes in, it's going to be a little less harsh. Uh, this isn't quite right probably, but you're kind of getting the idea of, let's see, let's uh, get the feather down a little bit. If I play it back again, you know, you can kind of mess with this and figure out what works for you. Uh, but this is a really nice way to kind of just call out a specific part of the screen uh, without having to zoom all over the place. Uh, especially nice for these things where you don't want to show other parts of the screen. You can just show the one bit or zoom in on the one bit without showing everything. Mm -hmm.